you know, I think life is only worth living when you when you awaken to the fact that you're a spiritual being having a human experience and not the other way around. And I feel that the focus of every human being's life should be based on finding their spirit. And the consequence of that is finding the connection that we all have to every living thing. And in that, in itself, you find miracles. Um, and also to be the best you can be. You know, I believe that we are individual little sparks of the divine that gets a chance to incarnate for our lifespan and we get to be something and we get to express um, whatever talents or gifts that we've been given. And I think that it, the person's, each person's focus has to be on how do I be the best that I can be, the best me that I can be, and how much, how can I um, benefit other people um, as well as myself. So I think that's, that's really, really why we should be here. believe in an, what I would call the I am presence. I believe in a divine presence in all living things. I believe that there is a higher power. I believe that that higher power, if I align myself with that higher power, that I can be a better person and that that higher power has created everything. So my belief in God and also that that God is good and that when I align myself up with that God and I pray to that God, I'm always asking that God to bring me the best and help me be the best that I can be. Um, so yeah, I would say that when people ask me if I believe in God, absolutely. But again, it's a personal concept of God that works for me. You know, my beliefs have changed over time. Uh, people ask me about reincarnation all the time, if I believe in life after death. Um, and I've seen so much evidence in my work that we don't die. Um, you know, and, and I was very skeptical when I started doing this for a living to begin with. So the idea of talking to dead people <laughs> was really foreign. Um, and, you know, I remember when I first went on my first cruise with Sylvia Brown and John Holland, and I'd done my first event in front of 500 people, and I actually felt a change in the room. I smelled the people who I was talking about. I heard their names in my head. I sensed a presence, an intelligence around me that had nothing to do with me. And I couldn't make that go away. And the people in the audience knew exactly who I was talking about when I was identifying them. Um, so uh, I have seen enough evidence to believe that there is indeed uh, life after death and that, hey, I'm going to find out, I guess, when I go, right? <laughs> The soul is what animates us. The soul is the presence of the divine, the spark of the divine in every human being. It is the part of us that knows God, that knows outside, that knows itself outside of the confines of the ego and the wounding of that ego. So the soul is the divine spark in humanity.